Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 29 in chapter 6. In this one, we still need to figure out the acceleration uh, right on the elevator with the uh, weight scale. So first, first one we can see, we have the woman in the elevator. And the first one, it moves at a constant speed. We need to find its acceleration. So for this one, we find the normal force. Uh, right? For the person in the elevator, so first the force acting is gravity. The second force is the normal force, up. So there we take the up as a positive direction. The first one tells us it moves at a constant speed. What does that mean, constant speed? Acceleration is zero. Do you agree? Acceleration is zero. So we write Newton's second law. So the normal force minus the gravity must equal to zero. Acceleration is zero. So in this case, the normal force just equal to gravity. The second one, this woman moves downward with constant speed. Constant speed, still acceleration is zero. So this is a normal force minus the acceleration equals zero. So the normal force is still equal to gravity. Then third one, upward with acceleration, 0 0.339. So in this one, we get acceleration, and acceleration is positive, 0 0.339. So very easily, we can write it as a net force equals to the normal force minus gravity equals the mass times acceleration. And then we input the acceleration inside, we can find this normal force. Very easy. The D, this woman moves down with acceleration at the same magnitude. So that means still this acceleration, because it moves down, acceleration is down, so we take the negative side, because we consider up as positive, right? So negative 0 0.33 G. Still, we get the negative force equals the mass times acceleration. So we input this acceleration, we get the normal force becomes 0 0.67 mg gravity. The next one, what if this woman in free fall? So for free fall, we see the acceleration is due to gravity. 9.8 meter per second square moves down. Do you agree? This acceleration moves down. So in this case, this acceleration must be negative g. Because it moves down, we take it up as per duration. So it is down negative. And g is magnitude. So in this one, we input this acceleration inside. We find this normal force, just as zero. Do you agree? After you input all the numbers inside, you can find these answers very easy. Thank you.